Welcome to a world of laughs where humor knows no bounds. Enjoyed your stay? Subscribe, hit like, and keep the chuckles coming. Remember, laughter is timeless. As the first rays of sunlight creep through her window, Mother Superior rises from her bed ready to embrace the day. The convent is a symphony of soft, muffled sounds that signify the start of a new day. As part of her daily ritual, she embarks on her routine walk, a time to gather her thoughts. Along the familiar path of the long, silent hallway, she encounters a nun who quips, Looks like someone got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Surprised by this unsolicited comment, Mother Superior shakes it off as a one-off remark, continuing her walk. As she approaches the next room, a different nun spots her and repeats almost the same words. Looks like someone got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Now, imagine our dear Mother Superior, striding down the hallway, her mind a whirlpool of confusion. Each room she passes, each nun she meets, it's like a broken record, the same cryptic message echoing in her ears. Now, Mother Superior is no stranger to oddities, but this, this was something else. It was as if the whole convent had conspired to play a grand joke on her. But why? And why today? What on earth is going on? She muses to herself. With each comment, Mother Superior's confusion turns into slight frustration and a pinch of curiosity creeps into her heart. Finally, after what feels like an eternity of repetitive, bewildering encounters, she reaches the end of the corridor where she is to meet with a visiting priest. With the determination of a marathon runner crossing the finish line, Mother Superior barely gives the priest a chance to open his mouth. She points an accusatory finger at him and exclaims, Don't you dare say it looks like someone got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning! The priest, who was just about to greet her with his usual geniality, is slightly startled. He quickly composes himself, clears his throat, and responds with a calm and steady voice. I wasn't going to say that at all, the priest says. I was just going to ask, why are you wearing the bishop's slippers? <laughs> Mike and John, best friends, decide to spend their holidays touring their own country instead of flying abroad. Sounds like a fun adventure, right? Well, it was until an uninvited guest showed up, a massive storm, the kind that makes you question your life choices. Now let's rewind a bit. Mike and John, in their spirit of adventure, had decided to ditch the usual holiday flights and instead drive across the grand landscapes of their own country. A couple of hours into their journey, the skies darkened and the weather took a turn for the worse. They found themselves in the clutches of a storm so big they had to stop driving. With the rain pelting down and the wind howling like a banshee, they knocked on the door of the first house they saw. The door opened to reveal a rather attractive older lady. They asked her if they could spend the night at her place, given the horrible weather. After a moment of hesitation, she agreed, but only had room for them in the barn. So, Mike and John, grateful for the shelter, settle into the barn, promising to leave at first light if the weather clears. Little did they know, this stormy night was about to become a life-changing event. Fast forward to nine months later, Mike receives a letter from an attorney. Now I don't know about you, but that's not the kind of mail you look forward to. Mike scratches his head, flipping the letter over and over. Suddenly, it dawns on him. The letter is from the lawyer of the attractive lady they met during their holiday. In a rush of realization, he drops in on his friend John. Hey John, remember that good-looking lady from the farm we stayed at on our holiday about nine months ago? Asks Mike. John blushes, recalling his secret midnight visit. Did you, by any chance, give her my name instead of yours? Mike inquires. John's face turns beet red as he sheepishly nods. 